Welcome. And I don't even know what I'm doing here. I had originally set out to show you some other things, and perhaps we'll look at those things. But my heart is just pounding right now. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because this photo is so astounding. And this is London, England in the 1900s. And absolutely incredible and completely unnecessary for the tiny people that would occupy this building and just some of the most beautiful architecture I've ever seen and I think at this point to even call it architecture is not correct one would only build something in this fashion for a much greater purpose other than choir practice or even the worshipping of the Lord. Let's just go back and see what even led me to this. These buildings and here the shelling of the cathedral also in London just astounding and I spent some time looking at this wasn't sure if this was a skull and still moving backwards I was looking for a picture of Liberia and at this point not having very much luck maybe I'm spelling something wrong and what I'm looking for is some sort of past sign of prior civilization and if you've never heard the story of Liberia it's actually very fascinating one that I've only recently heard and it pertains to the recent video I did on the possible origins of races and perhaps the copper people inhabiting the Americas and later being brought to Africa opposite of what we've been told and here we can have a little look at Liberia and I'm using wiki and I typically use wiki when all other sources in the mainstream tell the same story and here we're told that officially the Republic of Liberia is a country on the West African coast. It covers an area of 43,000 square miles and has a population of around 5 million. English is the official language. The country's capital and largest city is Monrovia. And let's just have a little look. And here we are at a glance. It will be interesting to try to find the oldest photos we can of this city. But moving on, Liberia began as a settlement of the American Colonization Society, who believed black people would face better chances for freedom and prosperity in Africa than in the United States. The country declared its independence in 1847. The U.S. did not recognize Liberia's independence until February 5, 1862, during the American Civil War. Between 1822, more than 15,000 freed and freeborn black people who faced legislated limits in the U.S. relocated to the settlement. 
The settlers carried their culture and tradition with them. In 1848, Joseph Roberts, a wealthy freeborn African American from Virginia who settled in Liberia, was elected Liberia's first president after the people proclaimed independence. In 1980, political tensions resulted in a military coup, marking the beginning of years of political instability. So the American Colonization Society was a group established in 1816 by Robert Finley of New Jersey to encourage and support the migration of free African Americans to the continent of Africa. So here we go. I mean, just America just barely starting out. And here we have this story of a group in 1816, not even 15 or 20 years after things really start settling for the colonies of America. We have this talk of sending African Americans to Africa. And of course, I think this story is ridiculous, but a portion of the truth exists within it, as it would be. And while I was looking for pictures of Liberia, I seemed to come across more pictures of Iberia. Iberian pre-Romanesque art and architecture on the Iberian Peninsula refers to the art of Spain and Portugal. And here we had a look at this the other day. And I said it looked very Tartarian. Moorish architecture found in North Africa, Spain, Portugal. And this particular article will tell us that the Moors were in more Mediterranean parts but really found all throughout and seeming to be a blanket statement similar to the Etruscans pre-Roman being a cover name for this lost civilization or at least lost in our recent history and here we can have a little look at this Iberian architecture even though I was originally looking for Liberian architecture and pretty mind-blowing not even sure if this is real but I'm getting distracted the Grand Lisbon just fascinating modern building sporting some antiquitech even though it's perfectly modern not sure if this is a rendering but back to Iberia or Iberian architecture here in Spain some of the most intricate I've seen next to perhaps India and here a little look at some Greco-Roman style and this Castillo de Coco from the 15th century is just astounding just the base alone is remarkable and I've never seen this before in Spain Iberian architecture absolutely mind-blowing a very distracting quest today I wasn't even gonna talk about any of these things I had a little list here by my side and I was gonna talk about a video that Martin showed on Flat Earth British a really fascinating post 
earthquake in San Francisco video and it just showed tons of people just pouring out of the train station all moving in one direction all leaving the untouched post earthquake train station as if they were just arriving to inherit the city and it really made no sense why would so many people be arriving after a catastrophe unless that was the plan all along and perhaps we'll get into that and just amazing and this is really interesting this tech all around here perhaps in another time and place such a thing would be turned into some kind of an amusement at one of these electric parks or a world's fair really fascinating this would be fun to dig into a little more and also I was going to talk about a video by a channel called Curious Life and he made a really interesting case as to perhaps where in the reset cycle we are and what these electromagnetic energies may be doing in the grander scheme of things and he was talking about how if we were to consider a screw turning clockwise it would be pressing down and if we look at the stars above that's exactly what's going on if the same right hand rule would apply and the energies or electromagnetism would be pushing down on us again if we were to look at the rotation of the celestial luminaries above and here just really interesting showing a comparison of a building in Paris and Sacramento perhaps not Sacramento California but as we've discovered in all of our explorations it would not be so unusual to find such buildings in Sacramento and another thing I was originally going to share with you before getting sidetracked is a little picture that I wanted to feature in my last video about New Zealand but found it towards the end and didn't really know how to squeeze it in but let's just have a little look this is in 1874 Dune Eden or forgive me many people corrected me and it's pronounced Dun Eden Dun Eden in 1874 let's just have a little look at this beautiful panoramic picture and mind you this city began only 15 years prior to this photo and we have a pretty well established city in 15 years and really fascinating excellent resolution let's just have a little zoom in right here in the middle and yeah just look at how amazing this resolution is and I spent some time looking at this really fascinating there do appear to be four people right here perhaps posing but otherwise a bunch of mud here are a couple horse carriages a shadow of a person walking but really an empty seeming town very weathered this is supposed to be brand new 
construction and just very weathered and tattered and amazing architecture and a really old seeming main street in the background not seeming like a freshly blossoming town or people and I'll leave the link for this photo of Dunedin and absolutely astounding looking like a ghost town and here somebody is doing laundry it looks like there's been cleaning up in these streets I'm not sure if these are mounds of mud I think these might be a couple people and a couple cathedrals here there's one and another one here really amazing was there a monument here that was removed? Not sure. And this is just a very large and beautifully laid out city. A lot of engineering and planning. Again, not some kind of last minute gold rush kind of thing. I do see what look like maybe tailing piles back here. And here pretty glorious building and maybe a church or maybe just a factory and really this past civilization in many cases not being too different and of course not I mean if we inherit a past civilization we're going to resemble and continue in the ways in the ways that we can in the case with the most amazing of the structures we cannot I'm just fascinating I'm not sure what this is back here and this here too maybe just a smudge and I think I'll leave it there again I'm gonna leave the link below for you and even though these homes, some seeming pretty ordinary, still displaying tech and the brickwork and even little Greco-Roman flares, perhaps the tail end, perhaps the country version of this past civilization. Really amazing. And very briefly, I just wanted to share this comment by Vilma. And she prompted me to look at the comparison between this Cook nuclear power plant in Berrien County, Michigan. And let's have a little peek at it. Her thoughts were that it reminded her of the Star Fort that I had showed in San Francisco. And so here's the power plant. And we see, of course, these two domes. And if the domes were removed, we might see something like this. And perhaps this was a small scale power generating plant. And if I recall, there is a similar one in San Onofre, California and a very interesting observation star forts typically found near water and not saying that it was a nuclear power generating station but perhaps some sort of station and here we do see the similarities the long platform and the two segments with domes and the star fort just being the very base footprint some greater technology and very interesting share thank you 
And I apologize for the randomness of this video. Finally, at the end, I did find some fairly nice photos of this Monrovia in older times. And I just wanted to show those. And this looking like some kind of a capital. Greco-Roman style and in complete ruins at this point and yet this is the beginning point for Liberia and Monrovia really fascinating and one of the hardest sets of pictures that I've experienced coming across seemed like this was not what they wanted portrayed when we do a search for Liberia and really interesting here another little look from the front again in complete ruins but yet existing and really nothing has changed since those old photos has not been restored in any way and exactly the perfect images to conclude this video with here another little look in complete disrepair and again and forgive me the resolution isn't the best and here a little look at downtown Monrovia in older times and here look in modern times perhaps looking more restored than the other photos and again semi modern times and really seems like they did a number on these buildings and brought them back to a state of disrepair instead of any kind of renovations but that's it for today i do hope that you enjoyed and do have a blessed day please like comment and subscribe